This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is procurement of consumable materials. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover here, we will see the difference between procurement of consumable and stock materials. What is account assignment category? What is its importance? Then how to assign the single and multiple account assignments in the in the in the purchase requisition or purchase order we will see that then we will see purchase requisition today we will create purchase requisition then how to uh, create a purchase requisition or purchase order without metal master record we will cover that then we will create purchase order with respect to purchase requisition then purchase order acknowledgement okay then valuated and non-valuated goods is it okay then what is item category item category in the purchasing document and we will see how to create a blanket purchase order and uh, entering invoice for a blanket purchase so these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, procurement of consumable materials okay. so basically uh, the consumable materials are the ones which are directly procured okay consumable materials are materials that are directly procured for an account assignment object so these consumable metals means basically they are not subjected to inventory okay they are not stored they were they are procured and they are immediately consumed immediately used okay the previous uh, the topic which we did, we covered in the previous topic uh, uh, procurement of consumable metal, stock metal with the time you will you have the once you receive the material you will have the inventory for the for the stock materials for this consumable materials you will not be having any stock they are directly consumed okay so the examples are like your computer systems stationaries like pen pencil so all these things comes under consumable materials okay these materials are not subjected to inventory management at the storage location so there is no inventory for this these materials that's why they are called consumables basically non stock items okay they can be procured without a metal master record also this i will show it in the system so consumable metals they, you have two options either you can enter the metal master while creating the pr or po or you can create them without a metal master record also it is also possible i will show you this in the system okay so normally in the standard icp you can use material types unbw non-valuated materials or in lag non-stock materials these material types can be used for creating the metal master record so basically normally the consumable metals are created using these material types either unbw or nlac normal normal okay so consumable materials is thus procured directly for an account assignment object so which, which account assignment you want to procure these materials so here no material okay so that's the reason uh, no stock so that's why you have to post it to an account assignment so we will have, uh, understand what is account assignment category okay if you want to procure materials as consumable you must specify account assignment category and other account assignment data in the document item of the relevant purchasing document like purchase so whenever you want to procure whenever you want to purchase a consumable material in the, in the pr or po you need to mention the account assignment category okay what type of account assignment category and once you enter that you have to enter the relevant account assignment data so first we will understand what is this account assignment category this one okay so this account assignment category is shown over here so if i log into the system Suppose if I try to create a PO, ME21 here, okay. Here, if you see, there is a column A. You see here, account assignment category. If you go to the list, if you go to the list, 
you have these many account assignment categories. So we are discussing about all these things now. We will we are we are understanding what is this account assignment category. Okay. The account assignment category, the account assignment category determines which account assignment object category is, that is to be charged. Okay. So normally in the in the consumable metals, what happens is in the stock materials, the value everything is posted to the uh, metal master so they will have a metal master you will have a price so for them the the posting happened but here in the consumable metal there is no valuation so now where the value get posted so the value gets posted to this account assignment category okay which account assignment data you must provide and which category of account assignment is to be debited when the good receipt or invoice is posted so when you do grr invoice to which account assignment this value has to be posted that is determined by this account assignment category okay specification of the objects the account assignment category like cost center sales order project that are charged in the case of purchase order of a material that is intended for direct usage or consumption so basically the account assignment categories can be normally like cost center or sales order or a project you will have this account assignment categories so if you see here this is the here you have you see cost center project okay uh, if you are a ps model you have an order sales order or an asset in the plan maintenance module so you have this all account assignment category but most of the time they use cost center in mm in mm whenever you want to procure a consumable metal normally they will be using cost center k that's the account assignment category okay so this is the one we are talking about Yes. So when, uh, for hmm. stock materials, what are the similar terms that we use? Standard the stock for stock materials, you don't need any account assignment category because it will have a valuation class. From the valuation class, it will it will pick the respective GL accounts where the price is posted, value is posted. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, same. I just want to understand uh, what is the parallel term. So it is. Uh, that you mentioned this valuation class is the similar term that we use for mm. uh, yes. stock materials yes yes okay so now these are the account assignment categories. so when you create the purchase order when you create the purchase order when you create the purchase order or, or purchasing document PR, Sorry, uh, it got disconnected. So when you create the PO or PR, you have to provide the account assignment category. Okay, and the account assignment category can be like, as I just explained, it can be asset, cost center, or a production order, or a sales order. It can be anything. It can be anything. Okay, so that is the account assignment category. So now, this is the one. We will understand the defensive. Normally what happens is, in case of stock materials in case of stock materials what happens is when you do the gr okay it's a valuated one it will have some value okay so the your gr or ir invoice receipt can be posted to the account respective gl account okay that is for in case of stock metal it will have a metal master it will have a price value it's a valuated material so for that particular gl account from there it will pick the gl account and to that account the your value is gets posted in case of stock metal but in case of consumable material it will not have the actually the accounting view okay so so the consumable metal values will get posted to the consumption account so that consumption account is nothing but your account assignment okay so in case of gr and ir invoice receipt that is the main difference of stock material and consumable materials okay so normally so normally in the system if you see consumable metals are created with a material type as it as i just explained in lag if you see this is a plant i select the material type in lag if you scroll down you will have in lag 
you see non stock material and lag you have this okay it will have a material master you see these are the some of the metals they created with material type in lag normally you will not have the uh, actually in this system they created with valuation class and all price but normally they will not have accounting view actually normally they will not have accounting this is a training system right they created as per their wish but you are not supposed to create non valuated materials okay with with, with this accounting view. they normally will not have anything price or value okay so what happens is now when you create the uh, 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 when you want to procure this these value uh, consumable metals normally the concerned department will create a purchase requisition okay so first step in this procurement of consumable materials is purchase requisition creation okay so the concerned department they will create a purchase requisition okay so here they will enter the material code okay or without material code also they can enter and they will give the account assignment category okay and whether they want to post it to singular or multiple account assignments they will enter over here okay so now we will understand what is purchase requisition first step purchase requisition Okay, the, the first step is purchase requisition. Okay, so, so what is purchase requisition? We will discuss. So purchase requisitions, purchase requisitions are internal documents are asking the purchasing department to procure a particular quantity of a material or service for a particular date so purchasing requisition is nothing but giving a request basically purchase requisition is basically giving a request let's say i am working in production department i need a floor cleaning liquid let's say so i have to ask the purchasing department to procure that material so how to ask for for asking that the concerned department will create a purchase requisition purchase requisition so concerned department when they need a material normally they will create a purchase requisition a purchase requisition can be created directly or indirectly in the sap r3 system so we will see that i will show you this in the system in a minute okay direct means that a purchase requisition is created manually in the department that made the request okay so they will go to a transaction and they will create directly okay Whoever creates a purchase requisition determines which material or services is ordered and the quantity and the date. So whenever they create directly, they will enter what material is the, what material they need uh, by which date and the quantity. They will enter manual. That is direct. Whereas indirect means that the purchase requisition is created from another SAP component is created automatically. Okay. So normally uh, purchase requisition is created automatically like MRP, normally in the plan maintenance order, in the PM from PM order, they will get credit automatically or from PP production orders or in project system from PS model. So indirect means they will get created automatically. Direct means manually. Indirect means automatically from other, other modules. Okay. So that is it. This is the one. This is the one. So normally, the purchase requisition can be created in two methods either manual or automatic so once created it, it can be converted to rfq or it can be converted to outline agreement or it can be converted to a purchase okay but as of now today we will see this first we will create purchase requisition and then we will convert it into purchase purchase order already we covered extensively in our previous class what is a purchase order what is purchase order structure everything we covered extensively today we will focus on the purchase requisition purchase requisition okay the purchase requisition is basically an internal document it is within the company you are not going to send it outside to the vendor purchase order is sent outside this purchase order is sent outside okay it will have everything but purchase requisition is an internal document within the within the departments of the company so as I just explained, it can be created manually or automatically. So 
So first we will create it manually. Okay. So let us let me go and create the purchase requisition. Okay. The T code is ME51. ME51. This is the T code. Okay. So I'm, I'm starting it. ME51. This is the T code. Okay. Purchase requisition. Okay. Here you have. So let's say now I want to. I need.